Generative fill is a tool with almost unlimited uses, but most of them are quite gimmicky. Like for example, I rarely turn my photos into oil paintings, but there is one effect that I use in almost every single photo. And I'm gonna start right now. So for example, let's take this photo here. I really, really like it, but the client has actually asked me, have I got a landscape version? And annoyingly, I didn't, only, I didn't take one. I only took a portrait version, but thanks to new generative fill, I'm gonna be able to fix that. So all you'll need to do, is simply go over to your crop tool, and go ahead and choose the aspect ratio you'd like. So for example, I'd go to my aspect ratio here. I'm gonna go ahead and choose three by two, but instead of portrait, I'm gonna go ahead and flip it to landscape. But I don't wanna crop in on my image. I want to uncrop as it were. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just move these anchor points until I'm happy with the overall composition. But now I've got transparent pixels to the left and right. All I need to do now is simply go ahead and click generate. And what generative fill will do is it'll work out what should be there and kind of replicate it in your photo. So basically you can change the crop of any photo without cropping in, uncropping as it were, which I think is an amazing tool and I don't hear too many people talking about it. So for example, it gives you three options obviously, option one, option two, and option three. I think option one's the best. And if you go ahead and have a look at it, as you can see, I've now got a landscape photo that the client is going to absolutely love. So here is the before and here is the after. And of course, if this particular tutorial helped you out, make sure to write it down in the comments below.